Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. Today I've come out to one of my local beaches on the Yorkshire coast. It's called Brunswick Bay and I'm going to head round that way and hopefully find some really cool Jurassic ammonites. Let's go! So I woke up at 4am this morning and I'm out on the beach at 5am. There's not many people who come out collecting at this time, which is why I really like it. So I'm having a look through these fresh landslide areas, hoping to find the odd nodule or two. So this is the type of thing what you want to look for, a beautiful rounded nodule. And if you look very closely, you can see the edge of an ammonite poking out. This looks very promising, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick tap using my hammer right now. Like it's gone pretty well. An absolute corker. Perfect pop there. A nice tenucostatum ammonite. Let's continue to make our way towards Kettle Ness, which is over them rocks over there, and see if we can find anything else. So we've got another little fresh nodule laying here. Not the perfect shape, but it looks like it's just rolled down from this little section of cliff. And I can already see a very crushed ammonite poking out of the top end here. I'm going to give it a tap. I've not got much hope for this one though. So that one little tap seems to have popped the cap off. Let's go ahead and have a look at what we've got. Hey, it's not too bad at all. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well that one's opened. Brilliant. So we've got a little fresh pile of shale that's tumbled down. So I just dropped it on the floor and it cracked itself. And it was completely empty, all mineralized. So I guess this bit is not very productive. If you would like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of beautiful prepared ammonite specimens available for purchase. I've also got fossilised marine reptile bone and lots of other interesting goodies from the Yorkshire coast Whitby area. Please take a look if you are interested. I'll ship your orders worldwide. Thank you. So unfortunately for me, I've done the usual fossil hunter's mistake of putting my hammer down and then forgetting to pick it back up. So I'm having to walk all the way back to go and find it. There it is. We've got a block here full of gyrosteus fishbone. 
and it's all horrible flaky looking stuff <laughs> but you can see the bone running through the rock and there's a lot of different pieces on the outside as well I tend to leave this stuff I don't collect it you can see it's totally packed through the rock a nice rounded pebble nothing showing on the outside so I gave it a tap with my hammer and there's a lovely dactylosaurus on the inside of it there's a negative so if you look here there's ichthyosaur ribs wearing out of this rock they've been wearing out for quite a while they're really really worn probably no longer worth collecting but nice to see on the beach so another one for people like me who appreciate a little bit of marine reptile bone there's some ichthyosaur possibly paddle digits wearing out of this large rock which is stuck in the sand I'm going to put some water on it to highlight the detail of the bone and hopefully you can make it out there again not really much point collecting this because it's such a large rock and the bone is just worn right down Here's six nodules that I found today and I'm going to open them right now on camera. Should get at least one half decent specimen from all these, hopefully. First one's gone really well. Try and get my chisel in for this next bit. Wow, look at that. Two beauties in a row. And that one actually had a poorly preserved middle, which is a shame. Crap this end bit off, I think. So this last one, there's a tenucostatum ammonite. The nodule itself has been rolling around on the beach for quite a while, possibly out to sea. A little bit of crushing on the side, but these usually split pretty well. Wow. And that looks like it's gone very well. Let's have a look. An absolute beauty. Split a lot better than I expected actually. So I've just turned this rock over here. A really nice shaped rock. And there is an ammonite inside. Hopefully you can see the crack which, which is already running round. And the ammonite is poking out there. So I'm going to get my chisel in and hopefully this is going to be a really nice one right. look at that. let's have a look together how this one has gone oh and it was just a little partial section and a little elegantisterus there not very well preserved either unfortunately if you have enjoyed watching this video please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can see my future fossil finds my dad's just shouted me over and he said he's found something very interesting so i've run over 
and it's a piece of ichthyosaur bone with multiple vertebrae on the back and when you flip it over you get a better view of them there's one two at least three bones on this piece it's been out in the sea for a while but it'll clean up really nice probably the best find of the day that one So what was once part of a cannonball and I've just cracked it open and there's a lovely little Elegantisserus ammonite on the inside so I'll take this one back it should clean up really well so in this ex situ rock free from the bedrock or anything laying on the beach I've spotted this tenucostatum nodule you can see the ammonite keel sticking out right there so I'm going to use my chisel and get this ammonite out oops oh there we go beautiful looking ammonite keel sticking out there Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.